Hello guys, welcome back. This is Drift and this is Youth Squad Regions with South End United. Start of a brand new season. As we are, I have simmed through the friendly games and I've done some negotiations with the transfers, which I will show you shortly what's been happening there. A few interesting things have changed. Um, but first of all, I want to head over to the office and go into settings. And for this season, we're going to be going for Legendary. I've never tried Legendary before, but I think uh, World Class wasn't wasn't hard enough. So we're going to give Legendary a try. See how we got on this season. Going to need a, a few additional players for the season, just to make sure we have got enough depth, uh, strength, and depth to get us through the season. Because legendary is going to be pretty bloody difficult, I would imagine. Okay, let's have a quick look at player negotiations, the uh, transfers that have happened and are currently underway. So first up, players that um, offers have been sent. I've sent a, um, a loan offer out for Torre, central midfielder. Um, I think it's Yael Torre's regen. Uh, he's at Nottingham Forest at the moment. Obviously can't get him until January because he's only just been respawned. Um, but he looks like a fantastic player. Um, here are some of his stats. I want to get him in on loan. Uh, some really good stats here for a midfielder. Um, 21 years old and he looks really good. Okay, so here's some of the successful negotiations that have happened. McGreeg was a centre-back that we looked at last season. I've actually gone ahead and signed him up. £50,000 um, wages for four years. Um, paid £11 million pounds for him, which is quite a lot, but he was worth it. They wanted a lot more. We managed to get him on the cheap. Uh, players that have left, mostly of them on loan. So Mendoza's left on loan. Carenci was actually sold to Real Madrid for £17.5 million, pounds, which I think is a fantastic deal for us. We've got um, Izzy in goal. Carenci, I was thinking about getting involved this season because he's obviously a good goalkeeper. But hey, it's a massive offer from Real Madrid, so um, I was happy for him to go. Caterino was purchased by Southampton. Transfer uh, was £3.3 .3 million. Pounds. Um, again, not really been a player that I've used that much, so I was happy to cash in on him. Uh, Robesco was moaning he wasn't getting enough game time, and I actually didn't enjoy playing with him that much anymore anyway. He's a bit clumsy, always lying around on the floor. So he got sold to Norwich uh, for 825000 And Thurtle has gone out on a loan. He's gone to Norwich as well for 600000 so it'll be good to see if he gets any game time out there. Uh, we'll have to wait and see on that. So that is all of our transfers that have happened so far. Let's go and have a look at players that we've got on the loan list and looking to sell as well. So there's Mendoza and Thurtle that are currently loaned out. And let's head down here. So this is the loan list. So Valhurst Cabrat, Rodriguez, the new guy. Redenton, Agafetti, the new guy as well, is on loan. Hall's on loan. Aluhu is not for transfer. Jaloka's not for transfer. Vilna's on loan. Maserani's on for loan. Isquido is on for loan, but I'm going to take him off of that. He's been on it for ages because I was trying to get him to bump his stats up, but it doesn't work. Um, Kukawa is on loan. Jimenez is on loan. Thompson is on loan. And then you I've put on the transfer list. Undo obviously not on the transfer list. Keller's transfer listed. Gattardi transfer listed. Brown's transfer listed. Flinders is transfer listed. Hurd is transfer listed. Atkins is transfer listed. Remarkle is transfer listed. And yep, that's it for now. So that's you up to date with all the transfers that have happened so far, but let's get ahead now, get into the squad report and see where our players are at the moment. So let's start with Esquido, who's a 74 still, Kamosex is a 69, Drock is a 77 plus 1, Makukis is a 77, Lazar is a 79 plus 1, Buol is a 71 plus 1, Hedlund's a 79, Oliver is a 76, Jalok is an 82 plus 1, Andu is an 82 plus 1, Strunberg is an 80 plus 1. Negrig is a 77, Flint is 70, Mela 70, Aluhu 77, Gattardi 66, Cabrats is 76 plus 1, Alonso is an 82, excuse me, Mazzarani is a 74 plus 1, Redenton is a 53, Remarco 72, Rodriguez is a 74 plus 1, He on You is a 71, uh, Kiero is a 74 plus 1, Thompson 72 plus 1, Morsi 72. I'm going to try and pronounce it this time, Tricupis, Tricupis is a 68, Agafetti is a 71, Brown's a 60 plus 1, Mullins is a 73, Jimenez is a 59 plus 1, Atkins is a 67, Velhurst is a 75 plus 1, Connor Hurd is a 57 plus 1, Oli Hall 68, Vilna 73 plus 1, Keller 62 plus 1, Kakao 69, Mendoza 75 plus 1, Fertile 68 plus 1, and that concludes the squad report. So next up, let's head over to the office and have a quick look in the Youth Academy. There's a couple of players we signed while we were simming the friendly games. So, Andreo Poulis, 16-year-old, from Greece, 70 to 94, um, looks like he's probably going to be central midfield, or maybe, well, any of those positions he could be, but good potential, so it'll be interesting to see. Miguel now is an 80 to 86, be interesting to see if I promote him. Um, he's got some really nice stats there, but his physicals are really, really poor. Um, and this guy, my god, what am I going to say here? 
Chikidze, Chikidze in 70 to 94 again, um, 5 foot 11 at the moment, he'll be quite tall when he's finished, hopefully he'll be a central defender, be good. Um, again, not sure what his stats are going to actually be like, can't tell right now, I only just signed him, but be interesting to see how he gets on. Uh, Mohamed Hamed is a 76 to 90, so not super, but uh, got some okay stats there, his physicals look pretty good as well, so be interesting to see how he gets on. Pablo Vasquez is looking really good now, 89 to 94, overall 67 to 71 currently. And look at those, that looks really magical right now. Uh, can't wait until he's ready. And Shane Doyle is ready, he's a 67 to 71, 87 to 93. And yeah, some really nice stats here. His acceleration sprint speed looks really good for a player that's come through the youth. I haven't seen anyone that quick for a little while. Maybe Thompson, who plays up front for us at the moment. But yeah, it'd be good to see how he gets on. Another striker, oh, a central attacking midfielder, sorry. And then Tim Mauer is still there, holding on 85 to 91, right back, 72 to 78. Some nice stats there for defenders, but he's just slow and, you know, I'm going to leave him in there. I'm not really interested in slow players right now. Okay, so let's get into the first match, which is against Chelsea in the Community Shield. Here are your kits. Okay, this is the first game at Wembley. It's a community shield against Chelsea. It's going to be a really good test on the legendary difficulty. See how we get on. It's going to be interesting. I've never played it. Looking in, uh, forward to seeing how we get on. I think we're going to struggle, to be fair. Chelsea are going to have a strong team here. There is a community shield. That's what we want. And I'm going to be working hard to try and get it. I'll right, have a look at the team in a second. Here is the South End United lineup then. So Negrig comes in at right back and Trikupis comes in at left back. You've got Lazo Drocker, Makukisu, centre back, Squido and goal, Hedlin, Jolocker, Oliveira, and Du and Strongberg make up the attacking unit. Nice shiny looking cup there. Hopefully it'll be in our hands at the end of the game. And here's the Chelsea lineup. They're playing Luis Suarez, Thorgan Hazard, Paison, and they've got William, Mikel, Ramirez, Felipe Luis, Martinez, Calas, Kane, and Czech. And it's a strong team. Pretty much the same as last season. We did right against them last season, but it's going to be tricky this time. The difficulty's gone up. He's over one Mikel. Nicely played. Looks finds Paison. Uh, we've put Paison down. It's going to be advantage to Chelsea. William picks up the loose ball. And they're playing some nice stuff here, the Chelsea. Can they get the ball into the box this time? Oh, it's really nicely played. Tearing me apart. William twisting and turning. Here's Paison again. Feeds his ball to the edge of the box for Kane. And it's Mikel gets his strike away. Can we get this ball away? Oh, well, we have got it away, but it's gone for a corner. Strong defending from Makukis. Had Suarez all over the back of him. And Dude's in the ideal position for the counter attack. The ball comes in, it's a dangerous one. Oh, we've got a, we have got a header on it, but it's come straight back. Gets his strike away, Drocker's underneath it. And now can Drocker get away? No, he hasn't. Oh, they're too good. Oh, and luckily for us, it was Mikel on his left foot, and he's a woeful striker. And we look for Strunberg, we find him. He's going to hold the ball up, hopefully. He's done really well. Looks for Jaloka. Oh, that's a good tackle. We've lost it. It's difficult. This is very difficult, in fact. I haven't really got forward yet. We're going to get a chance eventually, I'm sure. But Chelsea all over us at the moment. That's Felipe Luis coming down this wing for Chelsea. Nice ball inside of Paison. Need to get back and cover. Mikel back to Paison. Twisting and turning. Gets his strike away as Quido saves and Drocco clears it. Well done. And, oh, it's nicely played to the edge of the box. It's Mikel, feeds it in. We get a tackle in. Can we clear it? We have cleared it. Wow, that was lucky. Oh, and Dude's working hard here. He can't get through. Ref, I want a free kick for that. He didn't get the ball. And William comes forward. We get a tackle in of our own. We're going to look for Strongberg. Oh, he's whacked it. I've got to get these three balls right. It's going to be difficult. Keep on hitting the ball too hard. Oh, that's nicely played by William. Finds Hazard all the way across to Mikel again. Oh, lovely back heel. Really nice stuff from Charles. We don't mind Mikel shooting from outside the box. Oh, it's a lovely back heel. Drocker clears. Fires it up to Strunberg as well. It's a lovely ball. Oh, can and do get around his man. It's going to be difficult for him, but he has done. Cuts back onto his left. Goes for a finish. Oh, and Peter checks saves. He's got a chance if he can kick it again. Oh, he scored. It's unbelievable. We've got a 1-0 lead. It's our first real chance and do working well with Strunberg. And it's a... 1-0 lead to South End United, playing well. He does well, his first strike wasn't the best. Czech saves well, but his desire to get there first does really well. Tucks it in low, and Peter Czech couldn't get down to this one. Didn't react quick enough, maybe the old age is getting to him. It's a tidy finish from Undo. 
Nice play. Here comes Luis Suarez outside the box. Dangerous in his quid. saves once again. He's keeping us in the game so far. And Kupis, where his name is, does a really good, really good job. Really good job. Oh, we've lost the ball in a really dangerous position. They get the strike away. It's deflected. His Quido could have picked it up, but he's let it go for a corner. Chelsea look really dangerous so far. We're doing well to get a lead. Oh, he's giving it away here, the young lad. Schlocker comes back, does a really good good job there. That's nice football. Oh, and Pazon's down injured. Looks painful for him. We were on the counter-attack there. We had a chance, but I thought... That's a great tackle by Schlocker. Dumps him on his arse. Oh, Williams just too quick, too good. Here's Mikel again, keeps finding space here. And we've got the ball back, it's half time, referee blows. We've got a lead at 1 0. Chelsea have been dominant, it's Quido pulling off save after save to keep us in it. We've got a lead, a goal of our own came against a run of play. Let's see if we can hold on here, it'll be amazing. Matic finds William, nice bit of football. Played out wide now. Kane's first touch wasn't the best, but it's good enough. Oh, this is a real chance. Oh, Makukis does well to get across, and then it's Quido has to save again. He's having an absolutely barnstorming good game. And then Oliveira can hold the ball up for us here, hopefully. Does really well. Forward to Strunberg. Can he get around his man? Oh, he's unlucky. Callas does a really good job on him. Good defending, sir. And here is Salah. Finds Matic. Chelsea holding onto the ball really well. Oh, they've got a chance here. It's Quido again with a fantastic save. Can we get this ball away now? We have. It's a brilliant ball, actually. Oh, and do. Your controls let yourself down. Oh, it's a tidy back heel. Finds Luis Suarez. Ball through the middle. Oh, this is dangerous. Oh, somehow we survive again. It's well defended in the end. And the referee gives us a free kick. My goodness, we're hanging on for dear life here. Oh, we're out of position. This is really dangerous now. Drocker comes across with a fantastic tackle. This is a goal. Oh, he's put it wide, I don't believe it, we're so fortunate. Drucker comes up with a fantastic tackle, and then we head it back into the middle of the pitch where nobody is. And Suarez with a sitter. Puts it wide. Ramirez back to Felipe Luis. Looking dangerous here, Chelsea. Find the ball inside. Oh, this is dangerous, it's Ramirez. He strikes it and he scored, it's such a soft goal. All the chances they've had, and that's the worst one, and they scored from it, I can't believe it. It's one... Felipe Luis does well to get into the box, we close him down, Ramirez, it's not the best of strikes, it's Quido, probably could have done better, he saved so many we can't really complain, it was well struck, to be fair, got a lot on it, and oh, if it just clipped Hedlund's knee and gone over, that would be magic, and now he needs to help out in defence, oh, oh, that's a chance, this is a real chance, oh, and dude's got, oh, he's done amazingly well, didn't think he was going to get through, he's got Ramirez for company, he's quite quick, Kobe's coming. Oh, and he slotted it home. That's for the win. Come on, boys. Ten minutes to hold on. 2-1 again. Endu's quick feet to get himself free. I thought he was trapped. And what a beast. Two goals for Endu. He's still got it, boys. Here we go. We missed a bit of skill to get through, but it was magical. And the finish was smart. Great stuff. Loving that. Peter Cech comes out. I was worried when he came out. He came out so quickly. That's a really calm finish into the bottom corner. Here's Kane. Oh, he's done really well. Finds Callas. Oh, this is a chance. It's Quido comes. Got something on it. Needs to win his header. Oh, it's brilliant defending. Brilliant defending. And we'll get a goal kick, I think. Here's Ramirez. Linking up with Felipe Luiz. Links it back. It's a bit of a deep cross. We've somehow got something on it. Oh, we're in so much pain right now. I can't even find the words to describe how hard this is. Get rid of it. Oh, that's stupidly annoying. I had the chance to get rid of it, missed it. Oh, they've got to score. I just crumbled. I'm gutted. That's so annoying. I had the ball at my feet, all I had to do was press the pass button and we would we would have been scoring. And I, I don't know, he didn't pass the ball when I told him to. And well, Callas, the centre back, scores a lovely little tidy finish. Good little goal. But yeah, we're not losing, that's the main thing. But Christ, we should, be, should have won this game. And dude's going to sniff out a hat trick here. He's going for it. Scott. Sells some space on his left foot. Takes a strike. It's deflected. It's gone in. Oh, we can even do it on legendary. That's absolutely amazing stuff. And dude gets himself a hat trick in the community shield. I come over the moon. I didn't think we deserved to lose it, really. I mean, Chelsea have been dominating. We don't worry about that. 
we're so deadly in front of goal. He gets his strike away. I don't know if it was deflected. It looked like it was from like the a first angle, but maybe it is a clean strike. Maybe Kev Stromberg, not sure. Didn't look like a deflection there, but he smashed it, and it goes home. And that's fantastic. Lovely and do. What a beast. Right, let's hold on this time, boys. Don't concede now. Just stop them coming forward. We've done it. I don't believe it. We've just beaten Chelsea on Legendary in the Community Shield. It's another Community Shield. Two in a row for us now. And do gives himself a hat-trick. What a beast. Here we go, then. Here's the boys with the Community Shield. First competitive game of the season. We've won. And, yeah, let's move on from this and win everything else once again. It's going to be bloody difficult. Okay, the loan offer for Torre then would come back, and they're not interested in loaning him at the moment. I'm going to give it a try with 20% bonus per goal, and see what they say to that, and a short loan as well. Second game of the episode is an away match in the Premier League against Newcastle. Here are the kits. Here's the starting lineup: then Strongberg and Adu up top, Jalaka, Oliveira and Hedlund in midfield. Trikupis, Lazo, Drocko, Makukis and Negrig are your defensive unit, and it's Quido is in goal. Okay, Newcastle get the first game of the Premier League season underway. Let's see how we get on here. It's going to be a challenge in the Premier League this season, obviously the harder difficulty. I'm not sure how we're going to get on against the lesser teams. Let's see how we do here. This is a bit of a scrap. Let me sort this out. They've come out with the ball. They're going to get an early chance. They've struck it at goal. It goes just wide. And Dude's already got a chance here. The ball's a little bit heavy for him, but he's going to get there first. Goal is coming. Gone right foot. He scored already five minutes into the game. We're 1-0 up in the Premier League. Fantastic stuff. We're doing all right here. Let's see if we can keep this kind of form going through the season. It's going to be bloody difficult. But nice link-up play from Stromberg and Adu. They're looking good together. That's a smart finish. Goalie's going to be disappointed, I think. Unlocking the way that the defender just flipped over the goalkeeper. That was pretty epic. Tidy finish. Nice jump. De Jong does well, cuts inside, gets his strike away. I thought his quid could have caught it, but he puts it over the crossbar. Oh, that's a nice ball. Cuts it in half. Goes across the box, come out to it. Oh, they've got an equaliser. That's just annoying. That's so, so annoying. I keep passing it to the teammate, and the computer keeps passing it to the person that's just behind the person I'm trying to pass to. Bloody frustrating. And the defence should have done better, in truth. That was a nice little slip pass there. I thought McCookie was going to get a tackle in, but he didn't quite. And his quid gets beaten at his near post once again. But it is well struck. He always scores against us, this lad. Nicely played. Looks forward for Undu. Finds him. Back to Strunberg. Goes for the strike. He scored. That's a lovely goal by the boys. Taking it to 2-1 for South End United. It's a really difficult game. This Newcastle looking good on the ball. But hey, we scored two goals. And two nice goals it is as well. Lovely play between the two lads again, as I said, linking up well so far. This is a nice interchange. I thought Undu could have done better with the run, but hey, he passed it into Strunberg and scored. Colback, twists and turns, finds the ball to the edge of the box. Dangerous. Lovely bit of football, but Hedlund tracked his man all the way. And what a ball out this is. Undu was level when the ball was played. That defender's bloody quick. Undu gets in, takes his strike, left footed. Oh, and he's dragged it wide. It was poor. He should be doing better just before half time. Newcastle with the ball in the middle of the pitch, playing some nice football. We get a tackle in, and Do's made his run. Oh, to and Do, you muppet! Why does it never pass it to who you're supposed to pass it to? Cheating computer. It's half time, we got the lead, but my god, we would have been 3 1 up if that pass was not cheated. Oh, Hedlund's read the pass, he's done a really good job. And Do's making a burst through the middle, we're going to look for him. Should have the pace to keep away from the defence, he has. Goalkeeper's coming, low footed, left footed, low strike, into the back of the net. It's 3 1 now. We deserve that. We've been playing well. We've been unlucky with some of our passing, going to the wrong player, finding either someone offside or finding an opposition player. But hey, doesn't matter. We've got a 3-1 lead now. Let's go for it, boys. Come on. Oh, I looked for Jaloka, but pinged it way out wide. Oliver does really well. First time ball into the box was a good one. Jaloka Kleins doesn't get there, and he's gone down, but he's all right. Oh, Strumbo, you are an animal, my man. I'd love to have seen that going. What a strike on the volley. Oh, Oliveira, you're an animal, mate. And Do's away. Ball through is okay. Can he keep away from the defender? Defender is onto him. Left foot strike again. Repeat of last time it is. It's 4-1 now. Fantastic start from Undo. 
The boy's looking so good today. And is that another hat trick? Another through ball that's deadly. He's so fast the defender couldn't cap come across and catch him. And that near post finish has become his trademark. And he always seems to score. Looks forward for Alonso. Oh, and he's got tackled. I want a free kick. Not going to get one. Oh, Strongberg comes flying in. What an absolute beast. <laughs> oh, I love him. There's a good chance of a counter-attack if we can get this ball right here. And again, looking for Strongberg. Oh, I've not got it right, but it's okay. Look forward for Thompson now. Oh, he's gone through Colback like an absolute dream. He's been brought down. It should be a red. And it is a red card. The referee's got this one right. It was the last man. Thompson was through on goal, and he doesn't miss when he's through on goal. So unlucky for Colback, he was just outwitted and outplayed. As you can see here, the turn from Thompson was amazing. Under his arm. And he didn't mean to foul him, but hey, it's a straight red. And that's it, the referee blows for full time. What a result that is. 4-1, first game in the Premier League on the hardest difficulty. And we're doing alright at the moment. I'm going to stop talking about it now and just get on with the game. Okay, we have had an offer for you from Barcelona. Um, I'm going to push this up to... 1.87 mil because he's a good player, I do like him it'd be a shame to see him go but we can get him back in the future hopefully let's have a look at the damage, 9 days for his injury that's fine, I'm happy with that and that's more than Barcelona are willing to pay at the moment, they pay 1.1 and I'm happy to accept let's go ahead and submit that and we've received a loan offer from Rotherham United for Oli Hall, I'm going to head it, accept that, it'd be good for him to get some more experience out away from the club and we've received an offer for Atkins from Birmingham City. Um, I'm going to try and counter this one up as well, because I think he'll be a good player in the future. We'll keep our tabs on him, and if he does improve, we'll sign him back. Let's ask for 8-2-5. Birmingham have come back with a £550,000 offer. I'm going to head, uh, accept that, send it away. And we've had a purchase offer for Dylan Brown as well, and I'm going to go and head and accept that. This is valuation, and that's good. Last game of the episode, then, is a home game against Everton in the Premier League. Here are your kits. Here's your starting lineup, then, guys. Stromberg and Do up top. Jalaka, Oliveira, and you make up the midfield. You on his last appearance for the club, potentially. Kiera comes in at left back to see how he gets on. Lazo, Makukis, Jocko, your centre backs. Nagrig, right back, and his Quido's in goal. Okay, we welcome Everton to Roots Hall. It'll be a challenge here, but the conditions are looking nice. Good football day today. Nice and sunny, nice and dry. Should be some good passing on show. Hopefully some goals for you as well. Let's see how we get on. Oh, and the Greek's giving us away in a bad position. The young man needs to get back and work hard for the team. He does come back, but he hasn't got the ball. This is going to be a goal, you'd think. It is. It's 1-0. Seven minutes into the game, Everton take the lead. I knew it was going to be a difficult game with Lukaku up top. He's deadly. He's an absolute beast, and that's a really nice finish. There we go, we give the ball in away in a really bad position. It was all of our own making, and no one got back in time. And Lukaku, one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. He's not going to miss that. And Do's in again. Right-footed strike, and he's equalised. It's 1-1 now. Yeah, it's amazing what Undo can do from the kickoff. He's so deadly. Walks around the whole team and then smashes it in past the goalkeeper to get us back into the game. He's magical. The defence has got no chance. He even slows down in the box to let them catch up and then finishes it. Got to get something on it, but not enough to save it. And the power of Undo's strike was too great. Strindberg tries to get through here. Dropped a shoulder. He's going to take the strike on early. It's really well blocked. Ilkinum for Ndu, he's won his header, oh wow, I thought that was coming in off McCarthy, Strunberg's down injured, hopefully that's not a bad injury, that's the last thing we need, what a great header from George Ndu, and that nearly went over the line, came off the post, and McCarthy asked luckily not to deflect into his own goal. Okay, the ball swung in from Jalocca then, finds Kiera, does it? Not quite, and Strunberg has picked up a knock, and he might have to come off soon. Oh, that's not fair. Oh, he's just throwing it out for a corner. That's magical. 
Jock going to get the ball into the box, trying to cause some danger. It's dangerous, all right. Oliveira with a fantastically deft touch on his header. Flicks it into the back post. That's absolutely beautiful. Not scored from one of those before where the guy comes off the front post and then flicks it back with the header. That was beautifully worked from the corner. And, yep, smart little finish. Here we go. It's a nice ball in. Lowered flat trajectory. He just leans back and knobs it past the goalkeeper. Yeah, I said knobs. I meant nods. Good little finish. No, Everton come away with it. Should be half time now, and it is. Referee blows for half time. 2 1 lead. We came from 1 0 down. Everton looking dangerous coming forward with Lukaku. He's missed a couple of good chances. And let's see if we can get there in the second half. Take three points. We lump it up the pitch. Can we bring this under control? Oh, that's magical. Hold this up. We've got Mullins here. He's not the fastest, but he's in on his left foot. He's finished it as well. Absolute brilliant play from him. One of our Youth Academy players showing what he's worth there. And yeah, he's going to be a star in the future, I hope. He's been brilliant since he came off the bench, making some amazing tackles. And he's also coming forward here. Scored a wonderful goal. Strunberg's away again, if we can find him with the kick. He should do, if he can bring this under control, it'll be nice. He's going for the curling effort from a long way out. Oh, and he's hit the post, it was amazing, what a strike. Ah, oh, I love that. I do love Strunberg. He should have scored, though. Played it all the way out. Here's Coleman. They <laughs> tackled each other. And that could well be the end of the game. And that's it. The referee's blown his full time whistle. 3 1 is the victory score. And what a great start to the Premier League. We've got an offer from Bradford City for a loan deal for Jimenez. And I'm going to accept that. He's not going to get any game time in this, in this season. Atkins has gone to Birmingham City then. And Brown has gone to Akmapurma. We've also got you, who's gone to Barcelona for £1.1 million. Pounds. It'd be a shame to see him leave, but we can always get him back if we think he's doing well. And B Buar's back at left-back, which is good news for us. OK then, guys, that's the end for this episode. Great start to the Premier League. Two wins out of two. We're top of the league on goal difference against Chelsea, Southampton. We're doing brilliantly, playing very well. We've won the Community Shield as well. So fantastic start. Some nice new players to get used to now as well. And we're building a really strong team here. And let's see if we can challenge for the Champions League again. Until next time, drift out.